Welcome back everyone. My name is Dan Vega and I'm a Spring Developer Advocate at VMware. Today we're taking a look at a little bit of an older blog post uh, from Phil Webb and this is about the config file processing changes in Spring Boot 2.4. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to this blog post below. Uh, if you haven't read through it or aren't aware of those changes, it's a good time to kind of read up on those. Uh, but what I want to do is go ahead and look at one specific change in here, and that is multi-document properties files. So you probably are aware that you can create an application.yaml file, and inside of there, you can have multiple documents. So you can have one for a profile of dev, one for staging, one for production. And for the longest time, in, uh, you, if you were using application.properties, you would create separate files for each of those profiles. So you'd have an application-dev.properties, an application-production.properties, and so on. Well, with this change, uh, we, got, we brought um, YAML-like multi-document support to the Java properties files. And that is using a comment followed by that familiar three-dash notation to split documents. So what I want to do is go through and create a project and take a look at how we can use this in our application. So I'm going to head over to start.spring.io. I'm going to create a three dot, Spring Boot 3.0 snapshot project using Java 17. Uh, we'll go ahead and call this group dev.danvega. Uh, the artifact is, we'll just say multi-doc. We'll just say multi-doc. Um, from the dependency standpoint, I'll go ahead and create web uh, just so we can have something there. And I'll go ahead and click generate and that will download a zip for me. And what I'll do is I'll open that up in my favorite IDE, IntelliJ, and see how we can take advantage of multi-document property files. All right, so my application is open in IntelliJ and what I'm going to start off doing is creating a new package. We'll call this controller. And inside of there, I'm going to create a new class called Home Controller. We're going to keep this example pretty simple here, and we're going to create a REST controller. And inside of this REST controller, we're going to create a single method. We'll have a git mapping. So this will return a string. We'll call it home, and we'll return, uh, for the moment, just a string, hello world. And we'll save that. So we, like I said before, we know that if we were in here and we wanted to create a new application.yaml, we can go ahead and create multiple uh, documents in a single document. So, so we know that we can come in here and we can create welcome, we can create message, and we can give it a value of hello yaml. And so now what we can do in our home controller is we can go ahead and inject that using at value. And we can say we are going to get that from the welcome dot message. And we can say private string welcome message. Now what we can do instead of returning this hard-coded value, we can go ahead and return that. And if we go ahead and run our application and visit this using the uh, built-in HTTP client here in IntelliJ, we have hello YAML. So in a YAML file, we can create multiple documents based on a profile. So we can say we can have three dot three lines here. We can say spring dot um, active on profile and say dev. And then in here I can have welcome message hello YAML dev. So now what we need to do is we need to activate that uh, dev profile to for us to be able to see you know all the properties that are within the dev document, if you will. So what we can do here in IntelliJ is we can go up to edit configurations. Uh, in here, we can say uh, activate profile dev. You can actually use multiple profiles here if you wanted to, uh, but I'm just going to use that one. Now, if I go ahead and restart the application and go to here and generate this, now you can see hello YAML dev. So We've had this forever, um, but you know, I heard, I, I heard, actually, I saw a comment of someone saying 
they wish they had this ability to do this in application app properties. And it turns out we do. Again, go back and read through that blog post if you wish, but we can do that in application app properties. So let's get rid of this. And again, this comes from, if you've ever seen code in um, older applications, you may have something like application.dev.properties. Um, you may have another one for application-staging.properties uh, and so on. So you could still do that. Um, so if you're migrating your project over, you know, that'll still work. But there are times where you may just want to put everything in a single file. So in here, I can say welcome message is hello, let's do that, hello properties. And then what I can do is I can separate the document just like I did in the YAML file, but instead of just the three dashes, I need to just put a comment in front of that. So a comment and three dashes. And now I can say activate on profile dev. And I can say welcome.message is equal to hello properties dev. So if we go ahead and save that and rerun the application, and again, go ahead and hit that, we can see that it is hello properties dev. All right, so that's cool. Um, we know how to go ahead and set the dev active profile to dev in IntelliJ, uh, but what happens if we are running it outside of IntelliJ? Maybe we're running it from the command line. So in this case, I'm using Maven, uh, so I can go ahead and use the Maven Spring Boot plugin, and I can set the active profile. So let's just go ahead and pull this out of here just so there's no confusion. We're gonna remove this. And so if I hit apply and okay, let's run this one more time so we know that it's back to the normal um, welcome message, which would be hello, uh, hello properties. So if we head back over to services and run the same request, we should be at hello properties. So from the command line, I can go ahead and use the Maven wrapper. Uh, we're gonna use the spring boot run, and I'm gonna pass an argument into there for spring boot dot run dot profiles. And again, this can be multiple profiles, comma separated. We're just gonna use one as dev. So if we go ahead and start this, we should see that in here, the following one profile is active, which is dev. So if we head back over to services and run this, we can see hello properties dev is being used. So nothing extravagant here today, but I just wanted to point out that if you do want to use uh, multiple documents in one in Java properties files, uh, that you're able to. So hopefully you learned something new today. If you did, can you please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and as always, friends, happy coding. Happy coding.